Hi, this is Tanya from Flying Dog Studio. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the first part in a three-part series on how I do portraits. We will be focusing only on hair in this video. If you see something that you like in this video that helps you out, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Now I do have some other process videos on my channel where I cover shading hair, but this one is a little bit different. On this one, because of the way the light is hitting her hair, you can see all the different strands. And these strands allow me to section her hair off. So I color one entire section in using the peppermint pencil, and then I come back with the eraser, set as a peppermint eraser, and I erase out every detail. So this will be my bottom layer. And as I start another section, you can see I have another section I'm starting on top. I will add a layer, work on that section. When I get it the way I want, then I will merge it down into that original section where I started the hair. You can also see where I'm turning the lines on and off. That is to make certain that I get every little hair just right. I don't want the lines to cause me to miss an area. Sometimes we can get what I like to call a halo when you are blocking in colors like this. And you, I'm erasing out around. You can see where I'm erasing around. And we're gonna look at that in a little more detail here. You can see where I erase around the outside edge of that hair barrier I was talking about. And I'm coming back in. I turn down the opacity so that I can see my lines a little bit better. And I start erasing little hairs out. You can see right above her ear, I'm erasing some hairs out there. I also like to do some freehand where I don't use the contour lines that I've pre-drawn. So I'll turn the lines completely off and erase some hair that way. Always turning the opacity up and down to check my values. One thing I like to tell my students when we're working on digital art is that we want it to be believable. We want the viewer to think they are looking at an actual traditional art piece. So I'm using the same technique that I would use if I were doing a graphite piece. I've shaded in an area, I'm pulling out the lights, and then I'm adding in some darks. Now that we have created individual hairs, I want to add overall light to her hair. So I'm increasing the size of the eraser and I'm erasing entire patches on top. I have merged all the layers together so I'm able to erase the entire color patch to add light. And the final touch is to draw little individual hairs all the way around to give it that realistic believability. If you have found something in this video that helped you out, please give it a like on the end and follow us and ring the notification bell so that you will know when we add some more content. Thanks so much for joining me.